Mark Meredith has dedicated his career to helping the elderly. The coronavirus forced him into a wrenching decision. When I informed them that we were suspending the program, there was just an audible sigh in the room. Many of them either never married or don't have children or their partners and spouses are no longer living. Meredy is director of the nonprofit DeRote. Its entire mission is preventing social isolation among senior citizens with both on-site programs and home visits. But COVID-19 is most deadly to the elderly and those with underlying health issues. If we were having thousands of volunteers visiting with seniors in their homes, although they're doing a tremendous service, we're also putting the seniors at great risk. According to a study sponsored by the AARP Foundation, a quarter of the country's senior citizens call themselves socially isolated. And with more than 50 million Americans over 65, that means loneliness is already a crisis. Where they are lonely, that's where we really worry about increased risks of um, depression. And um, unfortunately, suicide is also a concern. Older adults have very high suicide rates. In California's lockdown Bay Area, Bruce Bell misses his visits to the public library. That's what I did on my bike. I rode my bike to these libraries, you know. Um, that that sort of um, outlet is gone, you know, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Meredy says the best way to help the nation's seniors right now is to stay in touch, not by text or email, but by picking up the phone and showing some love. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.